Aloha. Thank you for tuning in once again to Jaguar Power Astrology. Uh, this is the whole new flow, the whole new, whole new flow, giving representation to the Hawaiian sea turtle, beautiful spirit, beautiful creature, where we look at the most powerful cosmic currents, celestial currents, uh, and energetic streams so that we can ride the waves of collective consciousness in love, ease, and grace. So this is uh, Kinu Gabriel. My name is Kinu Gabriel, Kinu Diggit. And uh, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so today is a uh, very lovely uh, pattern of energy. We have a lot of very interesting uh, angles to the planets. Mercury just went into Libra, so I'm going to be talking about that. Um, if you watch some of my previous updates, including the new moon update, you know that sun is now in Virgo, um, and that's happening for the next 23 days. Um, we have moon, uh, about to exit Scorpio right now. Um, so hopefully you're watching this today and, uh, later on it'll be, uh, in Sagittarius. And so I'll talk a little bit about that. And, uh, Saturn retrograde still Jupiter went out of retrograde now so Jupiter is just starting to go a little bit forward it's still pretty slow um, and uh, yeah just starting to go a little bit forward in uh, Sagittarius so then we have Mars retrograde which uh, should be out of retrograde fairly soon and um, Uranus Neptune still retrograde for a while Venus will be coming out of Cancer at the very end of Cancer. And Rahu and, and Ketu uh, actually leaving their signs and going into Taurus and Scorpio next month, at least according to my calculations. Um, I think other uh, calculations have them going in this month as well, um, if not just yesterday. So, um, But for now, I'm going to read it as if they're just about to enter but not quite there so. um yeah so first off the most interesting thing for me today in this whole new flow is that mercury is in chitra nakshatra here we see mercury this is in libra across from libra in uh, is mars retrograde and uranus um and actually almost exact uh four degrees aries and mercury two degrees libra um, coming up exact probably in the next day. Uh, and so this is very, very important. Um, Chitra is really all about coming to beauty. And it's about working with our hands and working with the world to beautify and create order and create some sense of uh, refinement. So... Uh, here with Mercury in this particular aspect of Chitra, we're getting into higher knowledge, higher education. Um, there's a lot of books being, re being read. Uh, I'm sure book sales are up <laughs> to a high degree. Uh, we might find ourselves um, indulging in spiritual texts and spiritual scriptures. Um, and if not, going deep into the writing definitely having a charge and having uh, some passion into the esoteric, into the occult um, in practice. Um, so whether that's doing a lot of yoga, a lot of Qigong, um, and getting more into the theory area of it and applying the theory and applying a lot of what we are reading in the text to real life. Um, and so this is a really great time and the short amount of time that Mercury will be here, uh, I think in the next week or so, 
Um, this is just a really, really beautiful time to connect to real teachings, uh, connect to real esoteric teachings, real metaphysical teachings that work. That's when I say real, meaning like actually effective. And uh, being in this placement, this is still in Chitra. So Chitra is between Virgo and Libra. And so on one end, it's between making contact with the world to actually working with other people and working with the world and making agreements and figuring out things. Um, and on another hand, in this particular aspect, it's just about refining our work and refining what we do. Um, and so there's a lot of uh, intelligence um, in here. And we see with Mars right across from this, this Chichara is actually ruled by Mars. Um, and so there is a very high impetus of mental acuity, mental action, mental movement um, to really uh, figure out what we need to know to expand our life and expand our work um, and then really put it into practice. So if that's, you know, reading some books from, you know, your, <laughs> uh, you know, some uh, ancient scripts or just some texts from 20, 30 years ago that were just written in a different time and uh, really reconnecting ourselves to a place of wisdom uh, uh, so that we can refine our lives. Uh, you know, another aspect of Mercury here too is uh, not only refining ourself and refining our mind, but refining our work um, with it, its connection with Virgo. And it's really, there could either be like a change of work of what we're doing, a complete, you know, change of what we're doing, or just a change of how we're doing what we're doing. Um, to the point of now, uh, it's looking more refined, like I mentioned earlier. It's looking like more professional. It's looking more clean. It's looking more crisp. It's uh, sounding more clean and crisp. It's feeling more clean and crisp. But it's just kind of cutting the edges a little bit and taking what doesn't need to be taken. And now that maybe we have done that or we're figuring out how to do that, um, giving that refined product to other people, that's where Mercury is. So that's kind of what we'll be thinking about um, in the next week or so is, is this refinement and coming to that refinement um, and that level of refinement to a sense of balance and harmony and really bringing that uh, energy in our relationships. And so definitely coming from a, uh, a place of more insular in the house, you kind of want my own thing and, you know, in, in my laboratory, figuring out my own kind of issue to, um, you know, really working with other people, getting out there with other people, making sure that we have, uh, you know, right accord in our agreements with other people, making better agreements with other people, um, making better friends, right? Uh, seeing that our friendships weren't necessarily in alignment with what we're here to do and our purpose and actually meeting new people or uh, reconnecting with the people that we've recently met and really understanding, oh my God, like this is, this is my tribe. This is actually who my friend is. This is actually who I'm supposed to be around. And uh, letting that be a lesson, right? Flowing in that, this is the whole new flow. And you know, these are the most powerful energies happening right now. So if these things are happening, really just allowing them to be and fully embracing the fact that these new people and these new ideals um, are, are aligned with our purpose. And we need to spend more time and nurture um, these relationships to have balance and harmony in our lives, so. Um, yeah, I just want to talk a little bit about that and, uh, you know, lovely Mercury giving us just a lot of intelligence um, and really beautiful ability to bring refinement in our lives and in our relationships in particular. And actually speaking a little bit more about this too, because Mars retrograde is here. So, um, you know, 
getting more clarity in our in our planning for the future is happening right now. Um, and you may have already noticed it when Mercury went into uh, Libra, like I think a couple days ago, two days, two or three days ago. And you may have noticed, oh man, actually I should have done this or this needed to happen. I didn't even know. And so really understanding that that clarity is coming through right now um, about what we're all about, what we need to do, what our planning is for the future. And so now it would be a great time to actually think about uh, a plan and how we're going to work with other people to create a better world for ourselves and others. Um, that would be like an A plus thing to do and um, to not be so stressed about it, to have, have some balance and also really just hang out with people and live our life and just feel abundant and feel gratitude for the things that we do have because there's so many things that we are avoiding. There's so many aspects of pain and suffering that we are not experiencing <laughs> and being grateful for those things, being grateful for the things that we're not experiencing and being grateful for the things, for the uh, pleasures and the um, uh, sort of positive feelings and positive uh, aspects of our life, positive conditions of our life that we are experiencing and being incredibly grateful. And within that space, um, planning for the future and because now it's just a great time to get some clarity about ourselves and where we're going and you know what's going on um definitely during this week and really the whole time in mercury but specifically right now in this area of chitra which again will last um this week so yeah just a little bit about mercury wanted to give mercury some love for sure because it's definitely just coming in a transition so super powerful uh celestial current happening right now for sure let's go back into this so uh we can take a look actually when chitra ends i'm sure it's at the end of this month or so let's see ah yeah not even a week really maybe like five days yep so yeah four days um so really right now yeah great time uh to once again just go into the esoteric work do the research that we need to do um refine ourselves using you know past esoteric knowledge that works, occult knowledge that works, applying the knowledge that we've learned, refining ourselves, refining our world. So um, that's another aspect. Um, now, this placement is also interesting because it does talk about our mind. And, uh, you know, with the sun, which represents our soul, now in officially the 12th house of our mind, thinking about the spiritual world, is another aspect thinking about our power and thinking about the power that we have thinking about the power that we have uh in our relationships thinking about the power thinking about how when a king or a queen is ruling a kingdom when an emperor is ruling an empire relationships are and bridges are basically what make or break your entire empire whether or not you are making right agreements, whether or not you are uh, making allies in the right people, people who won't backstab you uh, anytime soon anyway, right? Because you always kind of have to judge when people are your enemies and when people are your friends because those things change. And when you're uh, ruling a kingdom, AKA when you're controlling your life and manifesting your own life, those things do change and people who were friends do become your enemies at a certain point and enemies do become your friends and so really just always having a clear here and now picture of what's going on in your relationships is a plus 
Um, so that's another thing that's happening with Mercury. This is all just looking at Mercury because it's just it's an it's a new current. I feel it's really powerful. So I'm inclined to talk about it right now. Um, again, getting clarity about what we want and what we want to do using the esoteric information, using the information that we have, planning um, how we to have different you know power positions with uh, uh, with our friends, with our family, and. Um, yeah, yeah, you know, really allowing uh, and persevering with the sort of governmental regulatory controls and not generating a lot of stress due to these obstacles and issues that we're experiencing around the world through the government regulation and government controls and really uh bringing a sense of inner control to our own addictions to our own cravings uh to the things in us the behaviors and cycles and patterns in us that are actually preventing us from working with other people in the right way and having right relationship aversion to different people because they care and uh think a lot about and have emotionally charged thoughts about this thing or that thing and not really judging people based on their emotionally emotional charges but really understanding that they and yourself really understanding that everyone has this commonality of a soul everyone wants happiness everyone wants to be free from suffering and really you know we all want to be free from our addictions and our cravings which are the causes of our suffering so um kind of coming to an equal uh commonality in that sense with other people and not letting these very sort of restrictive times um, get us down where we feel like we can't have what we need and we can't have the safety and security that we need. And, um, you know, just working on ourselves, working on our own mandala, working on our own, uh, you know, peace. And if, again, you know, if you saw the, the, the new moon flow, really it's just, doing what we need to do and having a lot of uh gratitude that we even can and even know what we need to do and just uh being confident in that fact you know if we're if we're moving along the right direction then everything is as it is as it should so um yeah so that's the whole new flow for today i really just been called to talk about mercury apparently um and you know i would say that um Right now, breath and pranayama, super important. Um, you know, Wim Hof and the breath work and, you know, being grateful for the air and, you know, thinking about the coral and the how the coral gives us life and the trees give us life and the plants give us life and all of that thing are um, really, really important. Um, emotionally connecting to um, the idea of freedom as a birthright. And we can only be free when we really emotionally connect with the interdependence of everything, including this so-called individual, right? This uh, individual perception that we're having. Um, so yeah, that's the whole new flow for today. What do we got? 12, 10 p.m. Hawaii time, 922 on a Tuesday. Thank you so much um, for joining. Walk in love. Peace in your heart.